Hey guys, welcome to Self-Hosted Pro. Today I'm going to be showing you this awesome application called Rambox. You can use it to organize all of your web interfaces for easy access from your desktop. It supports Mac, Windows, and Linux. And they most likely support your distribution. And if they don't directly support your distribution, you can always run a snap of it because it's in the Snap Store. So this is our main website. I'm going to be going over both the free and the paid version of this. And to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and install Rambox Community Edition. I use Manjaro, so I'm going to be downloading it from my package manager. I'm just going to click Install, Apply, and then give it our password. And we're done. So let's go ahead and open it up. And here we go. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be adding a custom service. So I'm going to be adding Open Media Vault. We went ahead and added that to our reverse proxy in the original setup video. So I'm just going to call it OMV. My address is going to be omv.streambands.live. And you can add a logo for it as well. For now, we're just going to add custom service. It's going to pop up, and here we have our web interface for Open Media Vault. You can add as many of these web services as you want. I'm going to go ahead and add Plex and Portainer as well. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and add the management interface for Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager so you can see what it's going to look like if you're just adding a local service that hasn't been port forwarded. And just so you can see what the setup is like on these, you're just forwarding the web interface ports to your reverse proxy and they'll work by default with Rambox. And that's kind of where the free edition ends you can do all these nice tabs uh, but you can't really do folders in the free version from what i've seen but once you've added it you can come here and you can change a few things you can get notifications and you can also add external services for this like if you use facebook messenger or discord and you prefer the web interface you can add those to rambox pro just by using their urls and you can also theme them using the custom code settings down here as well. So with the free version out of the way, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the pro version. Uh, this is one of the few applications I think it might actually be worth paying for the pro version. So for the pro version, the install is pretty much the same if you're using Snap and Manjaro. If you're not using Manjaro, you can just do sudo snap install Rambox CE or Rambox Pro to get the corresponding version. And we'll just let this run through. All right, and we'll go ahead and open up Rambox Pro. So for Rambox Pro, you'll need to sign up for it. They do the licensing by the account that you use. So we'll go ahead and get logged in. So this is the first login, and you're going to get a chance to see everything that goes on. There's a two-month free trial if you guys want to try it out. I'm not getting paid for this or anything like that. This isn't paid promotion. This is an application that I actually use a lot. Uh, for my home lab and also for work. I just find it's really nice to have everything in one application. So to add a new app, it's really easy. You just come over here and click on the plus button and we're gonna create a new group that I'm gonna call home lab. And you can set do not disturb times and things like that. Uh, and you can set an icon for it. This is essentially gonna be a folder our applications so you can come up here all of these applications down here are going to connect to web services like their GitLab connects to the official GitLab 
or DigitalOcean, things like that. So these aren't going to connect you to the self-hosted version of these services. Uh, so we're just going to come up here and we're going to hit Add Custom App. So I'm going to add the Open Media Vault connection right here. You can see there's some different options here as well. You can inject JavaScript. You can use Stylish by default. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can do here. And so we'll go ahead and we'll click on Add. And we can see OMV pop up. You can see it grabs the fave icon automatically and adds it here. And so I'm just going to do the same with the other services that I added in the previous one as well. All right, and there we go. We have all the services that we've set up already. Really nice and easy to swap between them. You just log into them and you should be good to go. Uh, so now I'm going to take you through the settings here because there's some other settings which are really nice. Uh, just on the page here, we can toggle Do Not Disturb, which is pretty nice. And you can quick switch to your different applications. So you can type in Flex and it'll take you there even if you're in another folder. So we'll click on the general settings down here. And you can see by default they have a dark mode that you can apply. And then you can also change where your apps pop up. So now instead of having it on the top, you can have it on the left. So it's more of like a tree of your stuff. And then you can also hide app labels, which I think gives it a really nice look. And they also have YubiKey support in the pro version, which is great for two factor. And high DPI support as well. We can come in here and change the default app settings as well. So that's pretty much Rambox and Rambox Pro. I tend to have a home lab setup and a work setup. That way I can mess around with my home lab when I want to. And I can also work when I need to. Uh, if you guys like it, go ahead over to Rambox.pro and check it out. See if you like it. I definitely recommend at least using the free version and seeing if you like it. Go for the free trial, the pro version, if you want to. And let me know what you guys think about it. I think it's a really cool uh, open source project. I feel like the pro version has a lot more functionality than the free version does. And I'd like to see some of that functionality moved over into the free version so it's more accessible to people. But I do think that it's worth the pro version, at least for myself. But let me know what you guys think. On Friday, we're going to have a video going over automating downloads for our Plex server, which I'm sure you guys will really enjoy. So stay tuned for that.